everyone! Welcome back to my channel and Happy New Year, everyone! I don't know, I think this is so cool, actually, because last week Friday we have celebrated Christmas together. Now this week Friday we're celebrating the New Year together. I don't know, I think it's really cool and I also think that it should always be in this way. We should always celebrate all these big holidays on Fridays and then I can make a special doll for this holiday and then we would celebrate the holiday together. But, you know, I don't really think they're going to listen to us and it means that the next opportunity to celebrate this big holidays Christmas the new year on Friday will happen to us I guess just in six years and it means let's enjoy this beautiful opportunity today happy new year everyone if you're watching this video right now it means you have survived the 2020 and then it's supposed to be a little bit better i guess yes i hope so i hope so 2021 must be better it just must be a good year for all of us really finger crossed so today for our new year special doll i've decided to make a doll in a snow globe and actually the idea for this makeover I've got exactly a year ago because last year in December Chanel, this looks fashion company had a publicity campaign with uh, Lily Rose Depp I think it was there and she was sitting there in a fantastically cute winter outfit holding a snow globe in her hands this publicity was really everywhere like in every shopping center in all magazines everywhere and I really love the aesthetic of this publicity of this photo shoot and I decided to make a doll who would sit kind of inside of the snow globe not the one holding the snow globe so I really love this idea I immediately got completely obsessed with it but yeah it was already too late because it was already December and all my winter special makeovers were already planned I was already busy with them and I had to wait actually for 12 month to finally be able to make this doll in a snow globe. So, I'm really excited about this project, I think it's gonna be very cool and this is also probably the last winter special doll this year, so let's do our best. Of course guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new here, let's spend the 2021 together. Of course, hit the bell button, support my art on YouTube with your likes, because this is really important. I don't want to be annoying, but this is really important and we really quite often forget to subscribe to creators that we are watching regularly. For example, yeah, now I can say that around... Oh, 30-35% of the people watching my videos without subscription. So, subscribe and let's start working. So, as a model for this project, I will use this Frankie doll. I think she will deliver us the needed level of cuteness in the end of the makeover. So, now let's undress her and then we'll cut her hair off. Very, very short, as short as we can. Then I will warm her head up with a hair dryer to make it soft and kind of easily removable. And after this we will pull out the rest of the short hair from the inside of the head using my tweezers. And after this I'm taking pure acetone and I'm going to wipe her face off. Thank you. 
So and now when we finally got our clean canvas, I can spray it with a couple of layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant to prepare the surface and then we will start drawing. But actually before drawing, we need to work on her skin tone a little bit because I'm planning to make a very pale and kind of, I don't know, Nordic type girl. Fair hair, very light skin, pale skin, very light blue eyes. And that's why I'm going to start this makeover with neutralizing this green skin color with two layers of pink pastels. After this I can sketch the face with watercolor pencils and then we'll continue working with soft pastels, applying shadows and highlights and blushers, you know, kind of creating a realistic looking healthy skin tone. So and when I'm happy with the skin tone, I can draw the rest of her face with my watercolor pencils. And like I've just told you, we're going for a very light blue eyes and also very light pink lips. I add like always reflections to her eyes and also a little bit to her lips using acrylic paint and after this we can move on to her body. And you can see now how much we've changed her skin color using just soft pastels and not that many layers actually. Two layers of pink, probably two layers of these shadows, maybe two layers of highlights and a layer of pink blusher to neutralize the orange. So, and now we need to kind of repeat the same trick with the body, but first of all we need to sand it to remove the gloss from the surface, and of course we cannot forget to seal it with Mr. Super Clear sealant before we start applying pastels, because nothing is gonna work without Mr. Super Clear. Okay, now the face and the body look good next to each other and it means that we are done with painting and we can start doing, I don't know, something else. You know, I think I want to make her hair next. Why not? We are going for yarn hair today because I want it to look very fine and soft. Rerooted nylon hair would look too thick for the hairstyle I've planned for today's makeover. So, first of all, I'm turning this yarn into hair. You've seen probably this process on my channel already hundreds of times, not hundreds of times, but dozens of times, and it's not really that complicated. You can see it right now. So, first of all, we cut the yarn, tie it around barbecue sticks, 
Then we make the yarn loose. Brush it with my famous cat brush. And then I make it flat and shiny using my mini flat iron. And after this we can actually glue hair to the doll's head and first of all I'm going to glue all the hair and just leave some space for the split in the middle of the head. And to make a split you need to glue hair kind of in the opposite direction. Then you let it dry completely, you flip it back, then you protect it with some masking tape and then you repeat it on another side. So this is what we've got as a result, now let's style her hair and I'm going to make two braids and I'm going kind of, I don't know how, to turn them in, to make something between braids and buns. So guys, this is where I've ended up with her hair, it looks actually super cute. Now let's probably attach her false lashes, add glossy varnish to her eyes and lips, and after this we will move on to the next part of our makeover. And in the next part we are going to dress her up and we are going to put her into the snow globe and stuff like this. First let's take a look at her outfit that my mom has made especially for this doll and this is such a super adorable winter outfit. I don't know, it looks slightly vintage and also very girlish, very romantic, I don't know, very pretty coat dress. It looks very cozy, warm and stylish at the same time, really an amazing outfit. And my mom has also made a pair of lace stockings and also lace underwear. So I think we can put it already on the doll's body, why not, it's already prepared, so let's put it all on the doll and then we will make some shoes matching the look.
For the shoes I've decided to use this pair of Monster High boots, I don't know, I think they will be absolutely perfect here, we just need to repaint them a little bit of course, but first of all I will sand the boots, because paint will simply not lay good on this shiny surface. Then I will remove all the grease and dust and whatever else is there on the surface with rubbing alcohol. And after this we will apply a layer of Liquitex primer. And after this, guys, I can be quite sure that the paint will go perfectly on and that it will stay there more or less forever. So, I'm going for classic white boots with black accents and really, I remember I used to wear these kind of shoes all the time years ago. And I think this is what we need in our vintage yet modern outfit today. Here are the boots. Let's put them on the doll and then we'll continue the makeover. So guys, and now I want to try something really special. You can see here on the background these two new machines. I have shown them already on Instagram yesterday when they have arrived. And these are actually the 3D printer and the second the yellow machine is a special machine for washing and curing the prints, the printed objects. Yeah, you know, I was looking at 3D printers for a very long time and not just at printers but like at the entire 3D printing technology and I was never really satisfied with it because I've seen all the time just the printers, you know, with this filament, with this rolls, you know, when they have this filament string. And these kind of printers, they're printing everything in layers and you can really see the layers, even if they are very, very thin layers, but you can anyway see these stripes. And since I'm going to make just very tiny objects for my dolls, you know, on this tiny scale, these layers, these stripes, they would be pretty crucial. That's why I kind of held back for a very long time with buying a 3D printer. But lately I've learned about the technology, about the different 3D printer technology. And this is a technology that lets us print things using special resin, UV curing resin. So, and this technology delivers you really absolutely perfect prints. You can absolutely not see the layers, there is no stripes. You get absolutely smooth and perfect, very detailed, I don't know, factory quality things. So, I've got really very excited about this technology and here you can see my Christmas gifts to myself. I have finally invested into this technology. So, welcome to the beautiful world of 3D printing. And you know, even though I've got these machines just right now, I still want to make something for our doll. First of all, to test the machines. And yeah, we just want to make something. You know, I have these machines and I want to make something immediately with them. So, let's experiment. Let's see what we will be able to make using all this futuristic looking technology. And since I've got these machines literally just now, I don't have any finished 3D models to print. I mean, finished by myself. So I went online and I bought this super cute deer handband from another artist. You can find the link to this artist in the description box under this video. Let's help each other, let's buy each other's work and let's share each other's work. So I've downloaded this super cute dear headband and now we'll try to print it using our new 3D printer.
This is so exciting guys, not normal. And the headband looks absolutely fantastic, so detailed, so cute. So now let's wash it, cure it and then we will paint it. I've printed also another headband, I also bought it online. These are very cute cat ears and I will probably not use them today. They will be perfect for some other doll but the deer headband will look just perfectly on our winterish Nordic grow that we are making today. And guys, check it out what we've just made with our absolutely brand new 3D printer. Really, I'm in love. I'm, I'm really in love. I feel more inspired than ever. So, it was absolutely fun to work with it. Really looking forward for more. And right now, finally, let's talk about making a snow globe. Because we're making a girl in a snow globe today. Okay guys, and now let's talk about the snow globe because it was actually the most challenging and the most difficult part of the makeover to find the right see-through yeah, snow globe, some, something that would look, that would give you a feeling of a snow globe. I was looking for it really for a couple of months, I can tell you honestly. I started with looking for some, I don't know, acrylic balls because sometimes they have for example these ornaments you can buy just acrylic see-through plastic balls but unfortunately all of them are too small really the biggest of them are probably just 25 maybe 30 centimeter and monster high doll is already 30 centimeter high and there's supposed to be still some space around of course you shouldn't stay in the snow globe you know like <laughs> pushing the ceiling of the snow globe there's supposed to be some air some space around so the next idea was to buy i don't know some fish tank something round cut like cut on the top i would turn it upside down and it would be okay but there are two problems with the fish tanks because first of all they're also not big enough here the biggest one was 35 centimeter i think but also the bottom of it is also i don't know two three centimeter thick so the actual space inside of it would be also just two centimeter bigger than the monster high doll and the second problem actually with these fish tanks is that they if you put them upside down the bottom of it is cut flat so our snow globe would look yeah like a fishing tank turned upside down it wouldn't be completely like a dome on the top it would be circle and then it would be cut so then the next idea was to use some sort of a vase i was looking for 
round vase then I started to look just like for such a long vases like glass type vases but anyway it was always something like not exactly it still would look like a vase turned upside down you would see that this is the bottom of the vase right now placed on the top of it and then I have found this absolutely perfect thing but really this happened already after a couple of weeks not really after a month and a half two months i was looking for it for sure i have found this beautiful thing it's like a dome this is acrylic plastic but normally it's unbreakable let's hope so and then here oops here you have the bottom so here we are going to place our dome all the stuff and then we're going to cover it with this dome and I think it would look absolutely perfect yeah maybe it's not exactly a snow globe shape but I don't think you know there are somewhere rules for the snow globe shapes Wait, don't, drop it. <laughs> don't drop it so I think that this thing would perfectly give you the snow globe feelings so and now we're going to actually customize this thing to make it look more like a snow globe so it's the first step i'm covering the middle of the bottom part with a primer and then with white acrylics After this we will apply a good layer of white glue and then we will attach this fake snow and by the way finally finally they've learned how to make bio fake snow before it was just plastic all the time and this time it's some sort of starch I believe and it's fully dissolvable in water really amazing so just let's hope that our white glue will not dissolve it completely but I don't know normally it's not that watery so normally everything should be okay And I also take this doll stand and I cover the bottom of it with the same snow as well. So I've applied three layers of this snow and this is how it looks guys, actually it looks very nice, very fluffy and snowy and right now I think we can finally put everything together and let's take a look what exactly is going to go inside of our snow globe. So first of all of course the doll that we've made today, voila, doll is installed. like this then you will be able to see it better probably yes yes so the doll is going inside then this tree is going also inside i bought it especially for this project Here's even, it's even with the ticket still so here goes a tree i really like that it's not too big not too overwhelming and then i've also bought this beautiful lights and these are micro lights and they look absolutely fantastic because these are not these typical huge lamps like on the christmas tree but these are really super super tiny light sources they look like some stars i don't know or some it's really very very pretty effect i really love this uh, lights and actually they work from electricity socket not from the batteries and this is of course also a plus point of uh, indoor lights so now let's 
bend them a little bit, curve them in, in different directions and let's place them also around the doll like I don't know inside of this dome so I don't know let's experiment let's see how it goes I don't know yet what is the best way to put them inside of the snow globe So and now actually we can put these big lights off, small lights on, and let's enjoy the magic. Voila, this is it, absolutely fantastic. Actually, it's not exactly very dark outside, so you cannot see like the full magic of this project. So I'm going to wait for a couple of hours, I'm going to wait till it becomes completely dark outside, then I'm going to make the end result pictures and then you will see them already in a second so guys here is finally my first doll of 2021 and i've really tried to make her very sweet very dreamy and very very romantic because i really would love to set some sort of a trend for a new year because we all know where we've ended up in 2020 after I've started it with making a doll of Donald Trump. I don't know, even Donald Trump is not happy with the year, probably with 2020. So this year I've decided to go a different direction and I'm gonna start this new period in our lives with a very sweet, very positive and very cute project. So let's see how it's gonna help us, but you know, I have pretty good hopes for it, because I always have good hopes for everything. Anyway, actually this doll is one of my favorites ever. I really love the dreamy mood of the project and I'm also happy to see it in real, because I really carried it in my mind for a very, very long time, actually exactly for a year, waiting for a winter and for holiday season to make finally this doll in a snow globe. And you know what is the worst part of all this doll making? It is that I already have a new super cute Christmas idea. I really cannot wait to make it. And now I will have to wait for another 12 months to bring it to life. But you know, there is nothing to do, I guess. You will know exactly in 12 months what kind of an idea I have now in my head. So, I'm also very excited about my new 3D printer, really, I love this headband, how it turned out, absolutely fantastic. It also feels in some way like a new beginning to me. So, let's see what the 2021 is gonna bring us. I'm stepping in full of hopes and full of good expectations, and let's hope it will all work and not like the last year, of course. So, and this doll is right now available for sale on eBay for three days, so if you need something like this in your house, this kind of a doll decoration, please check out the link in the description box under this video. So guys, and that was it! That was my project of the week and also the first project of the 2021. So I really hope that you have enjoyed it today, I really hope that you had fun with me today, guys. And if so, please, please, please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. Of course, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos because normally the next week video I'm gonna skip because I've made now three projects in a row and I need some break because I really work throughout the entire holiday season. Right now I'm recording this video. This is like a very late afternoon on the 31st of December. So actually it was yesterday if you <laughs> like when, from when you're watching it now. So guys, Happy New Year again! I really hope that the 2021 will be better that, than what we've had just now. <laughs> so, I will see you ready very soon. Please stay with me, stay together. Happy New Year! Love you guys! Bye!